Yes guys, how are you doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. We are still in the waiting room for FIFA 22 official ratings and the database to be dropped. We're getting like the occasional little leak here or there. A few players have been released and a few new icons have been leaked to us. And we have also been shown four guaranteed Premier League want to watch cards and one of them is going to be in this video. But talking about today's video, we're going to be checking out another premium starter hybrid squad. So guys, before I dive in properly into this one, if you are enjoying these videos, these kind of mock-up predicted squads, squad then please do go down there drop me a like on this video if we could hit 10 likes that'd be epic and also let me know if you want to see a couple more of these before we get official ratings but we are keeping things rolling with the more premium side of FIFA 22 predicted squad builders a lot of these cards are going to be very expensive early doors but I'm having so much fun kind of mocking up these super meta overpowered squads the next one don't worry will be somewhat more on the affordable side I just want these player ratings I want to be able to go through the database scout hidden gems find the best silver cards uh, that's where I'm going to need you guys as well, by the way. I'm on the hunt straight away. As soon as the database is released, I want the best silver card in my hand. If you find it, I'll hook you up. Cracking on with this team in goal, we are starting off with a player who's been around the block for a while now. And my team, Arsenal, will actually link with him at one stage. It is the Barca man, Norberto Neto. I had no clue his name was Norberto. That is a sensational first name. But this man is going to come in goal. He's an 82 in FIFA 21. And I'm pretty confident he's going to stay in 82. Even barely been going out to an 81 in FIFA 22. Definitely not an upgrade for this man. He didn't play a lot of football last season. He was trying to get that low move away to kind of secure a bit more first team football. But I reckon an 82, Brazilian, Barcelona, provides decent links. He's going to be a solid shout. And hopefully he won't be too expensive early game. Moving on up to our centre-back duo. We're going to keep the full-backs a little bit discreet for now, guys. As I want to kind of reveal this team stage by stage. So... The two centre backs, two absolute units, one of them you would have seen in the thumbnail. Now this man is definitely going to be premium of the premiums. We have got Eden Militao. As you can see, he ended up getting that 96 overall path to glory card, I believe it was. Correct me if I'm wrong. But apart from that, he didn't get hooked up too much. I believe this was a team of the week and his base card was an 80 overall. However, there is no way I can see this man not getting an upgrade. I've hooked him up with a plus two as well, all the way up to an 82. He's already got insane meta stats for a centre-back early game. The pace is there, defending and the physical stats are also there. And he has decent dribbling stats to boot with that. But I've hooked him up with an 82. That's a nice little upgrade. And if he does get that, he's going to be so damn expensive. So centre-back number two, guys. And if you kind of want to guess along with me, I'd love to see your kind of predictions in the comment section. Who do you think is going to be in this position? Is it going to be another Brazilian boy? Are we staying in the La Liga? Let's find out. We have got another absolute unit. A fantastic centre-back early game. Had an unreal team this season card a couple of years ago. One of my favourites going. There's so many Carlos's in FIFA, isn't there? There he is, Mr. Diego Carlos. Solid 83 overall in FIFA 21. And I reckon he's going to keep that 83 in FIFA 22. If he goes up to an 84, I'll be slightly surprised. If he gets a downgrade, I'll be massively surprised. I reckon we're going to be looking at that 83 overall card. Very similar stats to what he had in the year just gone by. And that kind of little trio here. The strong links all across the board is beautiful to see. And this centre-back partnership early game is going to be sensational. But as I said early on, the premium aspect of this team is sensational. All right, A lot of these players are going to be super spendy early games. So if you get super lucky and get yourself a sick pack pool, make sure to invest and get these guys early. Because their price is definitely going to go up once initial game releases. But moving on over to their left back. Are we going Brazilian again? What are we thinking, guys? We are going for Renan Lodi. I've never seen this man play in the real world, but he seems to be doing bits for Atletico Madrid. And he was an 81 overall in FIFA 21 and very similar to Neto and Diego Carlos. I reckon he's going to keep that 81 overall. He's a pretty well-rounded left back in all fairness. He's got a decent bit of pace, decent bit of dribbling. Defending and physicals will definitely need to be boosted with chem styles. Apart from that, he's going to be super solid, guys. I can't imagine him being too expensive, in all honesty. Somewhere in that middle range, probably about 10 to 15k, maybe a bit cheaper. Because he's definitely got better left back options. One of the players of Real Madrid than the Hordes of Nightmares. But the back line is starting to take shape. And we are not going to go over to the right back just yet. All right. I want to kind of leave the suspense and build it up a little bit. We're going to check out the first CDM in this team. As it stands as a full Brazilian roster. Are we rocking the Brazilian boys a little bit further? Continuing the Brazilian Samba theme throughout this team, we are rocking Bruno Gomes as our first CDM. Plays in the French League for Lyon. 78 overall in FIFA 21. I've upgraded into an 80. He seems to be getting better and better and better every season that goes by. As expected because his potential is through the roof. I've upgraded him to that 80 overall and a pretty well-rounded card early game. Could potentially be club 70 across the board. 
Maybe shooting might let him down and the pace might let him down. But super solid defensively and from what I've heard from a lot of people, physicality is important in that midfield. You need that kind of big bruiser who's going to hold off players, hold up the ball and pick a pass. And I think this man is going to be the man for the job. Moving on up to our centre midfielder. Surely the Brazilian boys are going to get a bit saucy here. Are we going to mix it up a bit? The t It says hybrid in the title of the video. Morsi, have you lost your mind? We're going for another Brazilian, guys. And it is going to be a teammate of Bruno Gomerez. We're going for Lucas Paqueta. I absolutely adored this man's team of the season this year just gone. And very similar to Bruno, he has developed his game massively. And he is a very similar profile. Maybe a little bit more attacky than Bruno. Uh, but I feel like those two as that kind of midfield pivot is going to be fantastic. Very similar builds, very similar style of play. And uh, they're going to be a sick duo. 76 overall in FIFA 21. I've also given him an 80. And this man's definitely going to have that skilling aspect. Hopefully four star, four star on the card. He's not going to be too expensive. To be fair, I say that. Early game, they offer that hyperlink, the Brazilian and Leon links. They're going to be a little bit pricey. But this team is premium. You know that already. It's in the title of the video. I've said it about 7,000 times. So it is what it is. So now we are going to head over to the right back. This is where it gets a little bit saucy. This may be the first non-Brazilian player in this team, guys. We're staying in the French League. We are indeed staying in the French League. And we are going for a Turkish man by the name of Zeki Selic. A lot of you right now are probably scratching your heads and wondering where is this team going. But there's a few of you out there who are going to know instantly who this CDM is going to be. Zeki Selic plays his football for the League 1 champions. He had a very successful season last year for himself and he was linked with a lot of big clubs. Even my team Arsenal wanted him at some point. But in all honesty, Arsenal won every single player under the sun at some point. Not the quickest player, but very well-rounded in defensive stats and physicality. He's decent passing, decent dribbling and I reckon he'll be a top tier shout early game. So for those of you who have already guessed who this man is going to be, this, by the way, this guy is just going to be so damn expensive early game. I've seen a few people predict him being like 20, 30k. There is no way this man's 20, 30k. Do you remember his inform at the start of FIFA 21? It was worth an arm and a leg. He's going to get an upgrade as well. We got Renato Sanchez. 78 overall in FIFA 21. There is no way this man is going to stay in a 70 bracket. He's going to at least be 80 plus. I've given him an 81. That may be a little bit overkill. He may get that 80, you never know. He had a very good season for Lille, couple of injuries here and there, and he definitely impressed in the Euros. Become somewhat of a FIFA icon. He gets some insane special cards every single year. EA is starting to love him, and he is getting a lot of love across the board. I just realised halfway through recording this that I've been lining up in the wrong formation. Formation for this team is a 4-3-3 standard. Ignore the CDMs, guys. They are all centre midfielders. Carrying on with Renato Sanchez this card, an 81 overall absolute pitbull in the middle of the park the stamina is going to be maxed out he's going to be high high work rates up and down the pitch and he's going to be unreal early game he offers a lot going forward he can find the back of the net he's got pace decent passing decent dribbling but he is also a very physical player defensively solid pretty much the creme de la creme when it comes to somewhat affordable not super overpriced center midfielders early game just looking at this team now though, realistically how expensive do we think this is going to cost guys? The defence itself is going to be super pricey, especially these two in the middle here. Paqueta and Gomerez may be somewhat on the more affordable side. Same with Selic and Renan Lodi. However, Selic does offer that strong link into Renato Sanchez. But now we are on to the three up top and this is where it gets a little bit saucy. The hybrid aspect is here, alright? We've got a couple of boys who aren't Brazilian in this team. But we've also got a few more that are. And we're going to start off with our right winger. We are mixing up the leagues a little bit. We are going all the way over to the Premier League for this one. A man who impressed me massively last year. We have got the Leeds man, Rafina. I'm going for an upgrade in the shooting and the passing department mainly. The pace, I reckon, is going to stay in that 90 bracket. Dribbling-wise, he may even get a little upgrade. Same with the physical. He's definitely upped his game since moving to the Premier League. And I reckon this man is going to be a super saucy right winger for the Premier League only game. Take in mind the Premier League is now absolutely stacked. If you've been living under a rock for the past week or so during transfer deadline, you would have seen the amount of crazy players that have joined the rosters in the Premier League. So there's a lot of options this year around, which is great because you have a nice little versatility. You can mix it up, get some cool hybrids going. But Rafina is definitely a solid shout. And to link into Rafina, we are keeping the Brazilian boys going. We're moving away from Leeds and we're going over to the Premier League Championes. And we are going for Gabriel Jesus. This man is always a good go-to option in FIFA starter teams. He's so, so decent early game. He does kind of drop off a little bit the more the meta cards come out and get informs, etc, etc. 
But at the start of the game, he got the pace, decent shooting, decent dribbling, and very well-rounded card. And of course, the four-star skills. Hopefully, this front three is all going to have at least four-star, five-star skills. They may even give Rafinha a five-star. Is that a little bit ambitious? Leeds fans out there, what do you reckon? Is he going to get the five-star hookup? Let me know down below. But once again, continuing the trend of this team, Gabi Jesus is going to be a little bit pricey, but he's definitely going to be worth it early game, guys. I am hoping I get my hands on at least one of these pack pulled. And then to finish off this team, a recently confirmed one to watch in FIFA, we have got ourselves the recently transferred Man City boy again. I wonder if he's actually a Man City player on FIFA 21. I don't think he is. But Mr. 100 million himself, Jackie Boy Grealish. I've predicted an 84 overall for Grealish. All right, He was an 80 overall card in FIFA 21. Anything more than a plus four is a little bit crazy. He had a fantastic season. He obviously got an insane big money move. The most expensive English transfer, I believe it is, 100 million, which is insane. But he is unreal. And his potential is through the roof, especially once he blends in with Pep Guardiola's team. The amount of informs this man could get this season is going to be juicy. So I reckon an 84 is a solid shout, and that offers a lot of room for EA to upgrade his card throughout the year. A lot of things I've noticed is that EA are giving two super high ratings for a few people. Mainly to kind of prolong the length of the game side. Because if you're dropping like 98, 99 overall cards in January, then a lot of people are kind of going to get bored of the game. And then eventually, once you get to the latter stage, you're just basically recycling the same ratings over and over again. That's pretty much what we've seen this year around. So I reckon 84 is a solid shout for Mr. Jackie. But he is going to be super, super sick. And I'm hoping I do get my hands on him on that guaranteed one to watch pack, which I believe is part of the pre-order bonus. It's either a one to watch or a hero card. I completely blanked it. I have pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition, luckily. I got in just in time. I ordered it in August, which is fantastic. So I will kind of record all the content we get early game, guys. But this is my premium hybrid starter team. Let me know down below what you think. And I'd love to know your prediction on how much this is going to cost. In all honesty, I reckon we're looking... It's definitely around 200 to 300k, maybe even a little bit more. I think 300k is a pretty respectable shout purely for the fact that you've got Grealish, you've got Jesus, Rafinha, Renato Sanchez, Carlos and Militao are probably going to be a good 30, 40k each. Yeah, 300k is a rough, decent shout here. But let me know any players that you would change in this team, guys, and let me know any players you are looking forward to getting your hands on at the start of FIFA 22. And until next time, I'll be Morsi. I hope you enjoyed. Drop me a like if you did. I'll catch you soon for another one. Take it easy.